Yo, how's it going? Hey, Yukaru, how are you doing? It's been a while. I hope everything's good. Woke up too late for food, but just in time for stream. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, that's good, right? I actually ha already had a work day uh, behind me. I did my work very early uh, today, so I could finish a little bit earlier. Otherwise, it's, it's like a pain to... Uh, to stream, right? Wait, just grinding Final Fantasy 14 things? Oh, really? Where are you in the game, by the way? It's, um, uh, I'm actually escaping a realm we're born tomorrow. Uh, I'm like 10 uh, MSQs away from escaping uh, a realm we're born. <laughs> And then I can go Heaven's Ward. It's, it, it took a while, but uh, we're finally there. Oh, and another funny thing. Uh, what happened is uh, John actually bought me the game. <laughs> John bought me the game, so uh, I got a code for uh, Final Fantasy XIV now. And I think it comes with one month uh, of payment. But uh, it's mostly because he wants uh, me to become his Omni Crafter. <laughs> That's the thing that, that got me distracted in A Realm Reborn, is I wanted to get all my crafting jobs uh, up to, uh, I think, 45, but now they're already all around, like, 50 plus. But it's, it's, it's good, it's good. It's, it's fun to, to do some crafting and get some fashion that way. See, just beginning Endwalker, but working on other things like leveling most of my jobs to 70 plus, and Heaven's Sword is so worth it, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I was actually planning on just playing it on the free trial uh, for the coming time, but uh, yeah, if I, if I got the code anyway, I, I think I'm gonna like redeem it on maybe, maybe April 24th, somewhere around that time. I think that would be a, a good time. And then I can actually group up with people, I, I can actually buy a house, I can suddenly do a lot more stuff. I, I have to be careful not to get too distracted in Final Fantasy XIV because I know how I am with MMORPGs. Like, uh, I can get lost in those and then suddenly I don't do anything else except for play the game. Hey Aiko, how are you doing? Yeah, we were talking a little bit about Final Fantasy uh, because Yuka Haru is here today. Good, thank you for delaying it since the main issue is that after the sub you can't play unless you sub again yeah so i wanted to wait a little bit just to uh, refresh my uh, cash supply because i'm not sure if you're in the know about this but uh like one and a half week ago or like two weeks ago uh, i sent my car to the repair shop for the auto safety check that's mandatory in my country and they found out that the brakes were not uh, very good. Hello, N Nabila, how are you doing? But yeah, so uh, the brakes were broken and, uh, well, not really broken, broken, but like very thin. They wouldn't last uh, a long time. So they all had to be repaired. I heard about that. Sucks to hear the pricing on that. They absolutely ruthless on that. Yeah, but it's important to have good brakes on your car, right? So, 
Yeah, I just took that hit <laughs> to the face. <laughs> but luckily I could tank it. I could tank the financial hit. Because um, that's uh, what I always do. I save up money, right? Maybe you, you noticed me not spending a lot of money on my channel, but that's because I like to have some cash reserves just for these kind of situations where you have like unexpected uh, costs coming your way and then you're glad that you saved up your money for these kind of things. Luckily, I'm not broke, <laughs> but I do want to like uh, heal my uh, heal my damage pretty much. <laughs> True damage to my wallet. <laughs> Ah, the FF uh, rabbit hole? Yeah. Once you go in, you can't escape. I, I've seen what, what it did to John. <laughs> and now uh, it pulled in uh, Laser and Shin and... Uh, let's see... Mew and Yukaharu are already playing it. Uh, who else? Who else? I'm sort of losing track, but... A lot of people that I know are now fi playing Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, did you know that um, John actually started his own FC? It's cool stuff. But yeah, um, what we're also doing today is playing some Warframe. They did a new update with a new Warframe and everything, so I'm gonna check it out what it is. Uh, this is my first time logging in, so you get like this uh, update page where you can actually see what they added. Um, let's see... Author, the story of the Leverian with the help of Dante and his exalted tome, Noctua. Noctua? Like the fans? Like the Noctua fans? <laughs> I know you can rename uh, weapons in this game. So could you like rename it into Noctua fans? <laughs> he decided to make his own? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, he he was talking about this, that it would be funny if he had a, an FC that was mostly or only uh, like VTubers. <laughs> also, I'm looking forward to uh, once I get like a house or apartment or whatever, that I can actually decorate it. I think I can make some nice stuff. Although it seems like pretty tough to uh, like to decorate everything. Like, the, the in-game mechanics aren't the easiest to work with, right? Let's see... Defend the Lavarian from avaricious clutch... Wait, the avaricious clutches of Parvus Granum and the Corpus. Master Dante's abilities as you take on new missions like Murmur, Focus, Disruption and greater challenges than ever before. No, I hate Disruption! It's such an annoying mission, though. And now they're gonna add Murmurs to that? Oh, that's gonna be pain. Apartment you can guarantee same if you if you're in a FC and they have a house then you can buy a room a room that oh yeah, 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 yeah I know that one But I'm not sure what to what to do that uh, Like what to do there Yahoo hey that free welcome welcome to the channel Let's see if it's your own house you might be in a bad spot since it's lottery based and you can only buy available so oh yeah yeah definitely uh, and you also have to progress far enough into the story right to actually buy a house in an area you want to go to oh I i'm very sorry uh death free but uh we're an english only channel uh, i can speak a little bit of dutch and in english but uh well, not a little bit of Dutch and English, but yeah, I can only speak Dutch and English. <laughs> Those are my primary communication languages. Uh, and on this channel, we mostly, yeah, I think I only speak English here. Who knows, maybe in the future I can give a Dutch lesson. <laughs> How to swear in Dutch. Only if it's Kugana, Japan, Stormblood, or Foundation EU Heaven Sword. Yeah, but aren't they adding like a new uh, area in the new update in Dontrail? Like, uh, what was it called again? Uh, Solution 9 or something? Like, I think there's gonna be a new city called Solution 9, so maybe there's gonna be player housing there as well, which is more futuristic based. You get the three normal ones after a little quest. Ah. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I already got the the Gridania one. I got the Uldar one, and I got the Limsa one. So I I, sh I should have all three of the basic ones. But I'm not sure like where I want to live yet, so I'm just gonna take my time, earn some money, because once you buy a house, you also have to decorate it, right? So I have to become like a billionaire or whatever before I can spend money on that. Let's see, see full patch notes, meet Dante. Seeker of knowledge, keeper of history, daring researcher of Lavarian lore. Dante composed arcing tales to support allies and devastate enemies. Yeah, I heard he was sort of like a... Uh, like a mage or spellcaster he has like seven abilities well uh, other people only have uh, four abilities revisit Inaros awaken the king of the desert once more and command the sand with far more ferocity than ever before Inaros has been reworked oh shit there's a rework for Inaros featuring a new bleed out mechanic and clean completely refreshed second third and fourth abilities yo yeah, because he was having trouble, like, uh, he doesn't have shield, he only has HP, but that also means that if he gets hit by a, a high damage ability, then he instantly, uh, I, I said, like, he instantly dies, there's no shield gating uh, for this character, so it's good that they reworked him. Dive into challenging content, this update brings some of the most difficult missions yet, Deep Archimedes, uh, only those with rank 5 in the Kavia Syndicate are trusted to walk this challenge path, but with great reward waiting for them at the end. Necroloid in the Sanctum. What are these words? Anatomica will be your guide. Look, I think I think we're rank 5, maybe, who knows. Great Tower Forge Archons. Oh yeah, this is also a new addition. You can uh, now uh, combine different normal... Uh, Archon shards and make a Tau Forge yourself, which is a good add addition because before it was pure RNG if you got the right uh, ones. There are also new Incarnons, the Ruvox, and the Onos. Disruption mission on Deimos. And of course, new fashion for your Warframe to look good. Oh, that was uh, only listed as a zone, not confirmed to be player housing zone because they added foundation one. Oh, they added the foundation one just last year. Yeah, they should. Well, they should definitely add more houses in Final Fantasy fourteen, especially with the uh, the shortage and then some people having like seven houses. That's insane. Like one account having seven houses because they have like seven different characters. Like that. That's unfair. I feel like. You should only have like one house per uh, per account, right? That you just share your house between your different characters. I think that would be way better. Then you can actually give a chance to other people to also own a house, or they should just add more tabs to the to the world to allow more people to actually own a house. Because now it's like it's like the Netherlands. There's a housing shortage, man. <laughs> Yeah, he does have a flying book next to him, but uh, you can also equip a, uh, a book on other characters. That was in the last update that they actually added a book. Netherlands simulated. No, no. <laughs> well, actually, I, I have a bigger chance of like, actually getting a house in uh, in the game than in the Netherlands. I checked up. Uh, the highest mortgage that I can get is 70k at the moment and uh the cheapest house you can get in the netherlands and then you still have to like uh do repairs to it it's like 150,000. so we're halfway there <laughs> i still need 75,000. maybe maybe i can rocket launch my youtube career and earn some 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 money from there <laughs> but i think so far i'm, I'm just spending money on my account <laughs> Let's see, so it's ARR 3, Heaven Sword 0, Stormblood 1, Shadowbringer 0, and Walker 1. Oh. It would be a shame if there wouldn't be any in Dawn Trail, because Dawn Trail has like a very nice uh, aesthetic, right? So a tropical a tropical island would be nice. Or even being allowed to build your house on your own private island. Because there is the private island thing, right, in the game. It would be nice if you could just could build your house over there. 
and then invite people over to your island and visit your house. Something like that. Okay, let's continue, let's continue. Oh. Hey, Aiko, did you friend invite me? I got a 50% discount on platinum. floundering do you understand going under all that work i put into it and so few visited let alone donated oh, oh i don't mean you of course who's this though i know you're a friend to the liberian he just wasn't enough so when parvos made me an offer i thought oh, why not just let it go. Let it all go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I shouldn't have. But I did. Oh, if only Dante was still around. So I'm guessing that's the new quest. You must come see me. Ah, oh, okay. Far from community. Review of your arsenal has been complete after a great deal of computational analysis. It was determined that some of your items were in, in need of tuning. The required maintenance has now been performed and those items once again ready for combat. Others notes the operator may need time to grow accustomed to these chains. To hurry this process, the attached items have been procured. Wait, huh? Wait, why are they giving me stuff? Huh? Arsenal tuning? What? 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 Why am I getting this? Did they did they remove a weapon or something from me? <laughs> Prepare <laughs> for them to rip it apart from you soon. <laughs> no. Oh, and we also have the 11 year anniversary glyph. So there's probably event things as well going on, right? Maybe event. Dex Dakra, mission defend. Oh, that's easy. Okay, we that's uh, that's an easy mission. Let's see what else is there. They said we could combine Archon shards into Tau Forge. Do we need an update for that for our machine, or can we just immediately do it? Also, I should uh, probably accept that <laughs> friend invite. Uh. Except, who's this? Ahazar. Do I know this person? Why does he have a, a gun stuck in his face? What's going on with this character? Tundra Wolves. She's a level 30. Oh, I can always in, in, invite. Or like, accept. Or? It doesn't... Ah, oh, it doesn't respond. Okay. Let's see, let's see. what What's in store for us? Arkan Shard, show me. So we have four normal, we have 13 yellow, we have <laughs> eight blue ones. Collection fusion. That's when we want to combine things to make a new color, right? And then I'm guessing this is. Oh, well, what what resource is this? Stella. What was Stella again? Oh, that's a resource from the new area. Okay, confirm. Yes, we want Tau Forged. Uh. Okay, how many more can we do it? Uh, we can make a better yellow. Apparently I have a lot of that st Stella. Apparently I haven't not used it a lot. Uh, 
Okay, so suddenly we have a, a, a storage of decent uh, things here. Let's see, we already have for Frost, we have this. Who should we use the Tau Forge uh, shards on? Mm. Having more armor would be useful. There's uh let's take t let's take a look at some uh, warframes that we have. I mean frost could be interesting, but there's also of course other options we can pick from. Let's see what are you? Okay, we're still missing two blue, and this one has a purple. How much energy do you have? You have enough energy. Okay. Uh, what about Falbon? He's almost full on. Yeah, he's almost full on uh, Tau Forged. Makes sense because I use this one the, the most. Uh, I don't think we have a lot of him. Yeah, we don't. We don't, he already works without a lot of uh, uh, shards. And then we also have like other ones that we haven't touched at all yet. I think, yeah, let, let's start with, uh, with him. So we go to Archon shards and then we say we want to replace an ability, right? Remove, yes. And then I have to instrument the helm helmet material. Okay, so I have to get more bow, I think. Yeah. Uh, feet. He needs more bow to puke it up, apparently. Okay, and then no. Oh. And then we can click this one, and we can we, we can see that it improves our stats a little bit. Effectiveness on health orbs, effectiveness on energy orbs, casting speed, or parkour velocity. I think casting speed is most important for this guy. And then on this one, we can also puke this one out and then replace it with a better one for the effectiveness on energy orb. So he gets more energy out of his, uh, the dropped energy orbs. Uh, you want, are you sure? I think so, right? What, what other options are there? energy max but that's not and uh, regeneration none of the colored ones does it, uh, regeneration right toxin blast damage five shield secondary critical and that's electrical stuff Gain 25% melee critical damage when max energy is over 500. The damage boost doubles. So that's like 50% melee critical damage if you have more than 500 energy. Sadly, we only have 405. What if we did this? Then it only adds 75. We still wouldn't have enough. Wah, 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 wah. So yeah, I think it's better to stick with energy orbs. And then we puke this one out. And also get an improved one for armor, right? Because then he already starts with around a thousand armor. Let's see, how much shards do we have left? We have three, uh, 
two red ones we can make two more yellow ones and one more blue let's do that as well and then Damn, I, apparently I had some uh, saved up there. Okay, so you don't need four, you need three. Okay, my, my bad. Okay, we are all spent on this. And then we... We can probably switch to Hydroid, right? Because you're still missing... So missing one blue. Two blues. Okay. We we can make him stronger. So we need more bow again. Oh wait, back. Undo it, yes, 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 yes. Jeez, uh, 3000, 35. What else can we throw in there? Feet. Okay, so we how much armor does he have? He already starts with a thousand armor now. We can increase that to even further beyond. Or we can add strength, which increases his crit damage, but also his. Let's see. It increases damage output and his crit damage, I think. And also his armor, based on his ability, right? Because if you use plunder. And we have a more ability strength, that means we get more armor per enemy, we get more max am armor, we get more uh, damage, damage status effect, max corrosive damage. And with strength we also increase our melee critical chance, which is already on 209. Mm, tough decisions. Uh, this one. Mm. And there's also the thing we could make a purple one instead, right? If we take this out, then we're still uh, missing one shard yeah we're still missing one shard then do i need a thousand armor or do i want more crit chance and damage or do i want another critical critical damage melee critical damage it is hydroid i usually melee on him and crit melee critical damage is usually hard to get hmm What to do, what to do. Also, Aiko, are you playing uh, as well today? Yeah, let's pull this one out. 
and then think we could do more duration we could more do more strength the armor just makes everything easier right you don't have to deal as much or worry as much And then the moment we get another normal uh, Archon Shard, we can uh, fuse it into a Tau Forge and then combine it with the red one to make a new purple one that's Tau Forge. I think that's a good plan. Oh, I also have to check out the new uh, ability that you can subsume, right? So, Dante, Dark Verse. Dante's composition draws blood from nearby enemies, inflicting slash damage upon them. It's just a... Oh, it's just a cone. Okay. That's sort of interesting. I'm trying to get in, but I'm having internet problems. Uh, well, let me know uh, when they are like solved or fixed. Then we can uh, maybe play some th things together. Let's see, is there anything else? Yeah, I still have like a lot of stuff that I haven't really touched yet. Okay, I still have item treasures as well. Arcanes, arcanes. I don't think I have to touch arcanes. Oh, I remember. I still had some, uh, some archon. Not, not archon, but what are those things that change your weapon? Like, uh, I have it for the for the latron, I think. Latron. Yeah, this one. That, uh, that weird thing that uh, changes your weapon into like a secondary mode. I, I kind of forgot what it was called. But I think I have it for the fist as well, but I need to get more resources from Duveri, I think, to do that sort of stuff. Chosen warframe suits you. Hey Jin, how you doing? How you been? Eh, I'm doing pretty good. W uh, what are you up to, John? Yukaharu was here earlier as well. I'm not sure if he's still here or like lurking, but he was talking about Final Fantasy 14 as well. War crimes, I got a raft collab later. Time zones are confusing. Oh! Yeah, you've been talking about raft for a while, right? I didn't hear you talk for a bit about it, but I know you really wanted to do it in the past. So you finally found some victims, huh? Let's see, we're checking out the new Warframe update. I'm not sure, really sure where I have to go to to do the new stuff. Do I have to start the quest or something? Uh, quests. Complete, 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 complete. I think we got all the quests, right? So it's not really a quest, but you do have to go into the zone or something. So I'm guessing we have to go into the the Deimos zone. And I think we have to go here then. Maybe.
I finally got three clips to run with. Also, I can finally play Never Gonna Give You Up with the Trump and the Fun. No! You're gonna, you're gonna bully people. <laughs> Attention, Tedo! Now that Lloyd and the Caveat have settled in, I feel I can be of more use. The laboratories... Also, how's the audio? Should I increase it? Science is calling. Henceforth, I shall be dividing my time between the upper necrolisk and down here in the sanctum anatomica. Uh, keep it on the rabbish-hush, if you don't mind. Sure, sure. Let me up the volume. Maybe that's better. And you can also do the ending of Klana. Damn, emotional damage, yeah? But I think I'm finally figuring out uh, when I can probably slot in Warframe. All that's left is to see if my work workload stabilizes in a few weeks. Oh, really? What, what day do you have in mind? It's a bit low. What do you mean? I've been nothing but a menace in Ulda and Limsa the past few days with my bard skills. It's a bit better now. Yeah, I, I actually picked up the, the archer class as well in Final Fantasy XIV now, but I'm only like level 6, but I, I figured I might as well bring it up to level 30, right? Okay, so we have to check if we are a rank 5, right? Hmm. We have our work cut out for us. Standing. Yes, we are five. Illuminate. Okay. So that means we can do the the rare mission, right? Or like the, the higher difficulty thing. Cool, the coherent. Silence the murmur. Silence the murmur. And then there's also steel path mode of it, where the enemies are apparently 215 till 220 in level, instead of the normal... 115 to 120 level. <laughs> Remove this man's harp, he's causing mental damage on the general populace of Limsa. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's not a adding much mental damage there, they were already damaged to begin with. <laughs> Probably considering either Monday or Friday. Ooh, in that uh, case, I recommend Friday. Friday is usually the better day to play Warframe. Uh, because uh, a lot of stuff happens on Friday, especially like the Barokatir stuff. So you can actually check the shop if like things are added or not. It, it, it should be later today that uh, Barokatir also uh, arrives today for with some maybe new mods or new weapons. We had peeps in Limsa AFK and half of them teleport away to somewhere else. If you deem that best. Until the next. But where do I have to go then to to do that new mission type? Make the best. And how may this relic make himself? Oh, research that day. A vessel capillary seeker of knowledge. twisted people into weapons. And I've seen so I'm guessing there's no real quest attached to this, but it's more like a mission mode where you can pick up the parts. In his company, I felt so what's no this? Such anxiety. Is that an arm cannon? He was warm, earnest, literate. That looks like an arm cannon. Seeker. To know that he perished in these. Try an ambient power to do steady increased damage to enemy at full power. Release a blast of heat. Yo, that's cool. Yeah, there, there are some other arm cannons, but not as cool as this one. This one is actually wrist mounted, like the other ones you still hold in your hand. Dignity. Damn, imagine if you could dual wield them, you, then you'd be like full Iron Man. Let's see, what else do we have? The Vruvox. To the server of this fist weapon. Oh, okay, this is a punching weapon. In incarnate form, perform heavy slams to impale nearby enemies with spike. Yo! Is this like a nail gun fist weapon? Like every time you punch an enemy, you, you just shoot out nails? All the heroic deeds were forgotten in an instant. <laughs> you got just nail guns attached to your fist. <laughs> but it, it is a lot of uh, capillary, so that's probably a lot of grinding to get, right? And if we have too much, we can also spend it on credits. But usually this is not good, because you can earn this much easily from the index mode. The Drusus I knew was a genius. 
Voca, Voca is standing, trade for Voca. And then we also have Desolution, but we don't really need that at the moment. What about this guy over here? Maybe we can be devolved back to what we were. Maybe, maybe I could live with that. Simplicity, you know? Nothing complicated upstairs. No demons. Yeah, uh, to explain a little bit, these guys, they were normal animals until uh, Albrecht experimented on them and sent them into the void. And because of void mutation, they gained sentience. So now they're like intelligent creatures. But this guy also lost his mating partner. So he's like depressed. So he actually doesn't want a brain or he want, doesn't want sentience. Hi. I gotta believe there's some clue to where Albrecht went in those Netra cells. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. So this is the normal weekly mission that we already got so that's nothing new Come on. who am i gonna ask bird Come on. Let's at least i'm trying to find out like where i have to go the threat persists bounties i want to give him a hug yeah he definitely needs one well I I, mean, I, I don't like Fibonacci as much. Like, uh, let me show you my favorite character here. Like, this is my favorite character. He doesn't talk much, but I don't know. He just sounds funny. Bur <laughs> His name is literally Burr 3. <laughs> Anything else that's new added to the store? No, I think we got most of it. Oh, furniture. Oh, wait, we can buy them here. Take that one. Oh, no, that one. Or. Okay, so we still have a reason to, to gain. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> we still have a, a reason to like turn in standing stuff here and then get the Arca shard. We actually need a blue one. What to the wise Tenno? Oh, is this a new NPC? I want no, no. You're not allowed to deep fry uh, Bird Three. Look, it's the situation. Deep Archimedia, volatile experiments connect the dots, but with one small wrinkle. If we don't keep the murmur contained, the family is going to become aware that all is not well in the basement. A basement they cannot know exists. Uh huh. In an unexpected turn of events, Lloyd has tasked me with the responsibility of ensuring that this does not come to pass. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine, but here we are. So, how do we do this? Oh, right. That's my job. Um, come on, Pickle Lloyd. If we bollocks this up, we'll never hear the end of it. <coughs> Tenno, your attention! Okay, tell me. What do we have to do? Loadout. Equipping one of the following items rewards one research point per mission completed. Oh, so you have to be Excalibur, we have to be Nidus, or we have to be Mesa. To enable equip one of the three, listen. Uh huh. And then missions. Unlock Elite Archimedia by completing Deep Archimedia run with all loadout and personal modifiers enabled. Yo, they want to go us on, on super extreme mode if you want to go to Elite. Energy exhaustion. Lose two energy per second for each enemy within 10 meters of you. Knife step syndrome. Lose two health when moving, jumping pauses the effect. Transference into Operator and Drifter is blocked. Oh. Shield recharge delay is increased by 500. Yo, this could be like very tough. But you also need to have a, like a, a big supply of weapons to actually benefit from this stuff. 
Oh, and here you can see like your research points if you complete it. For example, if we say knife step syndrome and this one and this one, then we get like 10 things out of it. And then we select a mission probably. Do we have to do all three or just one? Or do you do like three in a row? All are played in sequence with no opportunity to switch loadouts. Research point granted for completing his mission one, one, one. Oh, uh, okay, okay. What is this? Entrati Lothorn. So we don't necessarily have to do it too much, like if we reduce it. How much points do we start with? This is probably three points. Or four points. Is it four points? It, it's not very clear how much points I'm getting at the moment. For this. Higher values unlock additional reward pools. Rewards are granted at the end of each successful deep Archimedes. So it's exterminate, it's then alchemy, and then it's disruption. Enemy health slowly regenerates. Ah, uh, okay. So if I press now unlock. Yes. Do I now begin research? Remember, our aim is to safeguard Master Ventrati's experiments. Repel the enemy. So yeah, I'm playing online. You in the mood for a little... Next Hopefully I get some good party members. Mr. Winter. Stowage. Uh oh, someone's already down. Two people are... Oh, that's, that's not a good start. thrown out also can you revive that's also a question also yeah I, I can switch okay that's good to know I think I need to build up my my kill stacks though things here though yeah my build is mostly still the same it's like I use my avalanche to armor strip and then I use my rocket launcher and my blade to, to do damage to them I wonder if the uh, the mission change the mission change uh, allows me to keep my stacks. What the hell is that sound? Who the hell is laughing there? Oh, I 
think they're pretty new to the game. They're actually reviving while well, not in this mode. That's not smart, boys. Maybe they don't have it unlocked yet. Oh, they're down again. Oh, it's the cat. Okay, but they do have decent damage output. Oh, I'm doing nine damage, four damage. Yeah, that's that's not good. I need more damage on my secondary. Jeez. Well, at least I'm staying alive. The way I say everything is okay choice. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the, the mission? Like, uh, the, the modifiers to the mission? Yeah, there's no everything is okay mission or modifier. Counter attack successful. Oh. Fingers off triggers. Stand by for orders. Maybe just ignore this guy? Apparently we can go to extraction. Oh, that's a big bummer for my Warframe. It's like I'm not the fastest guy around, so... Let's see, I have a few stacks. Let's see if we start the next mission with stacks as well. Look at my currency, 99%. <laughs> so now the next mission immediately starts, right? Oh, but they did take away my stacks. My, my, my increased damage. Because the more I kill, I think, the more my HP grows or should grow. I'm not seeing my HP grow, that's not good. Let's see, you have to grab gas. Where's the... There it is. So for this mission we have to go collect these icons or this flask and then throw it at the at the big machine over here. And then slowly fill it up. Luckily, you don't have to be very precise with throwing. As long as it hits it, it's it's fine. Oh. Damn. I did not pay attention. No! Okay, we got you, we got you. What 
are those laughing things? Shuffling something. I do feel that this game mode suffers a little bit from too much special effects. Yeah, yeah, I can see my HP has grown since the beginning of the mission now, so it's finally working. You have to do the pressure valve thing. Oh, someone else also added it. So now they're pretty much cooking with fire, and then we have to keep the... Uh-oh, it's overheating, it's overheating. Okay, we got it, we got it. Now we have to go do this one. see the damage difference between using my ice ability and not using my ice ability. Oh, I, <laughs> I boxed that one up. <laughs> Stop. Can I hit it from here? I 
Also, I feel like I'm having energy issues at the moment. Oh, I thought someone was down, but it's just a pet. I do think Hydroid might be the better choice for this mission type. to account the pressure again. Where is it? Here? It's, it's below. Huh? It's up? I don't want to have anything to do with you. <laughs> yeah, I think the reset thing of this mission is kind of annoying on uh, on Frost because on Frost you want like long endurance missions, right? So if you keep hopping between missions and you don't take your stacks with you between the different missions, then you're not really benefiting from your build, I feel. Although the tankiness is, is nice though. One more mission and then we should have completed it for the first time. We need a lot of them, I think. Melee Crescendo. Excellent. Yo, isn't that the valuable one? I think that's uh, the one that's super valuable on the store. Like the marketplace. Green light, move! So 
Someone's swearing. Why are they swearing? Actually, okay, that's annoying. It's one of those guys. The vessel, captain. Oh, you only get two of them? Yo, we're gonna have to be here for a while then. Something's glowy. Why is this door closed? Hello? Oh. I just got locked in or locked out. It's far, far away. Enemy cold weapons. I see you. the docket I also feel like maybe you want a warframe that's fast for this mode because you have, apparently you have to travel around quite a bit Electrified conducts. Up oh, here, been revived. Oh no, enemy speed boost, that's not good. I'm about to be free to a 
slow you down a little bit. <laughs> Yo, Rhino might be nice for this matchup. Well, Rhino is good for the stomp, right? But um, he probably doesn't have a good way to shred enemy armor. But I'm guessing. Unless you give him a certain ability for that. Four out of eight. We need to do four more. Maybe I should rewatch some tutorials about like how to build certain weapons. Because this AoE weapon is nice, but if I don't have enough energy to shred, then it's kind of wasted, right? Oh, that's how I did it. And now I remember I have to melee kill them to build up my energy. But the side effect of this mission is that if I'm close to enemies, I lose energy, right? So. and I'm already at, at zero energy again because I was close to the enemy. So I need to find the warfare where it's cheaper to armor shred. Jump. I hear a sound. Oh, damn, these guys are good at this mission. Like, usually they already completed by the time I, I reach that point. <laughs> Look at my damage, I put it's just 5%. Five, five specialized in uh, a build for this mode or something are we running it probably but well, this is definitely a mission type you have to keep redoing multiple times in a week I think to maximize the gains from it Just need one more. An Eximus wave. Oh god. Like look how fast they kill that thing. Now we can get out, right? 
Material, material, boy tossed us with retrieving, and the family slumbers on. Yeah, one of the guys is playing, I think, Bolt, which gives a speed boost. So these guys probably know what they're doing. What did we get? Wow, look at that. Our first mission and we instantly get a Tau Forged. We, we got a yellow Tau Forged shard. We've had a few setbacks. But we are going Look to at that. Up. I guess that's super lucky. Also, the finisher kill. We really want this one. So, if we go to our equipment, uh, leave the squad. Uh, if you go to our arsenal, and then to our melee weapon. We have melee crescendo here and we want to upgrade that as high as possible because for every finisher kill you do you get six initial combo for the rest of your mission and why do you want initial combo well we have this one 20 percent melee critical chance per combo multiplier if the is our if our lowest combo multiplier keeps increasing that that means we will never do zero i can do a zero hit so if we can max it out we can do like a lot of damage with every hit we do without losing any heavy or like losing any combo counter that's the idea at least and then we also don't need heavy attack efficiency anymore I want to try this mission with Hydroid. Let's see how well he does it. Where's this guy? He was upstairs, right? Master Entrati's experiments are under threat from the murmur. Nay, rip from his teeth all that he has taken and teach him this. That woe shall be his sole reward. A big deep Archimedia, at least 20 resources to receive one of the following. The experiments are secure. Wait, so how does this work then? Is it something you do once a week or? Possible rewards Archon Shard, Melee Arcane, Melee Arcane Adapter, and Tau Force Archon Shard. I'm going to look this up online because I'm now curious about how this exactly works. It's called Deep Archimedia. Deep Archimedia is a multi-stage mission in a battle against the murmur to drive, out, drive them out of Albrecht's laboratories. It can be accessed by speaking with Necroloid. Uh-huh. Unlocking the deep Archimedia for the week consumes two search pulses. Five search pulses are granted each week. Shared with Netrocells. Resetting at Monday. Players can still partake in deep Archimedia once they've exhausted all rewards. Oh, okay. So Netrocell uses up one. But deep Archimedes uses up two. But I guess this is the more efficient one to, to use.
Individual parameters. Players can restrict their loadout and apply debuffs to gain research points for chances at more rewards. The available restrictions are different between each player. A selection of three warframes, primaries and secondaries, and melee are offered. Matching the loadout will grant one research point permission. Individual loadout seems to refresh each day at midnight. Personal modifier. Each personal modifier grants one research point permission completed. Four randomly selected debuffs can be applied, each granting one research point. Oh, okay. Deviations. Uh huh. That's mission changes. Each mission also has a risk variable that strengthens enemies. Uh huh. Rules. Considered to be extremely difficult with many de debilitating restrictions and above 250 enemies. It is recommended to attempt this mission in full squads. Empowered enemies. Enemies have their health and shields increased by 100% and an additional 50% for each squad member up to a maximum of 300%. Eximus have higher spawn rate. Restricted spawn. Self-revive is not allowed. When a player dies, avoid angel with a single health bar. Will spawn, which must be killed to revive the fallen player. Oh, okay. The void angel will become stronger with each subsequent death. Last gas drains begin two seconds earlier with each use. Transference. Uh huh. Bleed out timer. Down to a minimum of five seconds. A player that is dead for longer than three minutes will receive more this strike. Acquiring three strikes will remove eligibility for rewards. Okay, so three strikes means uh, if you're dead for nine minutes. So if you're dead for nine minutes, you're like permanently out. Yo, that's pretty rough. I I went down a few times there. Hmm. Mm. And then there's also Elite on top of that. Elite Archimedes is a higher difficulty mode of Deep Archimedes, increasing enemy level for, uh, to level 375 to 400 and applying two risk variables. Completing an Elite Archimedes grants 13 research points for even more rewards. Is permanently unlocked by completing Deep Archimedes with 25 research points, requiring all points from loadout and personal modifiers. Jeez! Research points do not stack across attempts. Rewards are earned based on a singular attempt at hand, not the sum of the attempted over the week. And in order to maximize gains, players must satisfy all individual parameters conditions before starting the mission. Ah, the highest you can get is 37 points, which apparently gives you phosphor or something. Let's see, there's a 13% chance to get crimson shards. Oh, the normal shards. And apparently there's only an 8.5% chance of getting a Tau Forge uh, Amber Arcan Shard, what we got. So we got the 8, we, we won the 8.5% 8, 8 gamble. And we also won the Melee Crescendo, which was a 50% gamble, apparently. On rank C, it's a 25% gamble, though. Oh, okay. So the second. No, no, no. The, the last mission always has a chance for a melee crescendo or a Tau Forge. Ah, okay. But that, that means that this is not Dante's mission, right? This is just the extreme hard mode for late game Warframe for me. So where do we find Dante then? Acquisition. Dante's main and components. 
can be obtained from disruption armatus on Deimos, whose access requires completion of the deadlock protocol and whispers on the wall. Okay, I, do, I have those two. All parts come from rotation C. Alternatively, it can be purchased from Lloyd in Sanctum Anatomica with vessel capillaries dropped by disruption armatus demolishes in quantities of two to four uh, or five to six on the steel pad. Each component requires 90, while the blueprint requires 270, totaling 540 vessel capillaries. Okay, so what you can do is pretty much like farm for like the first three parts and then probably just buy the last part and then you're done, right? Is what I'm thinking. Wait, I have a unread message in my inbox. I think it's... Uh, communication. Is it Barroketeer? Did he arrive? Yes, he arrived. So let's check that out before we hop into any other mission. Hey, but the improved chance to actually get uh, Tau Forged and uh, the Melee Crescendo, that's nice because I like those. So he's in the Strata Relay. I'm kind of curious what he has this week. Hopefully something nice. If he has something nice, we probably have to go for him for it. Oh, and uh, I believe by watching uh, me on Twitch, you can actually get in-game rewards because if I'm right, drop should be enabled because it's like the 11th anniversary. Tenno, may I extend an invitation to you? My latest collection of so what does he have? From the void he has a faction mod. He has magazine capacity. I don't really use magazine capacity that often though. Right? For some weapons it could be good, but usually you, you tend to pick some something else over it. Like, I prefer high reload uh, speed weapons. There is a Prisma Tetra. We don't own one of those yet. A Parazon poster, which is a decoration. Wait, what's the Godfather Prime? Long before Clone Rot set in, elite Grenier commanders protected the surviving Orkin from rebelling Warframes with these formidable rifles. When Godfather Prime inflicts a status effect, its next shot has a chance to be a super critical hit. Yo, that sounds cool. So it's like a, a hybrid weapon. Like whenever you inflict a status effect, the next shot is gonna be a super critical hit. So you probably want to build for status effect and then critical damage, right? You don't really need to build for critical chance because it already does super critical hits. That's an interesting mechanic. Huh. Yo, <laughs> I have to go collect some stuff then. Look at this. It costs me 675. I only have 55. Nothing to your liking. Okay, but we, we got a we got a goal then. That's a interesting weapon. I'd love to try that out. Like, you, you can build it for status chance and then crit damage and then still do a lot of damage and, like, shred armor and everything. That might be super useful for the new content as well. I don't think we have anything... No, we need two of these. For the Ballistica Prime. I don't think I'm planning to build this. This one we only need one. Dual Saros. I think Dual Saros needs two of each. Magnus Prime Blueprint. We can remove one of those. Sell. Yes. So 175. We still need 500 more. So that means we have to run some other missions as well to, to get it. But that's an interesting gun, right? 
can tell you will appreciate what I have today. And because it starts at 27 status, I think you can do some very interesting damage with this. Hmm. Yeah, it might even work better on Hydroid, because Hydroid already does corrosive and viral damage, right? So that shreds the enemy, and then you can add another status effect to the weapon. It's, mo yeah, it's just puncture on its own, but you can add elemental damage to it, like, I don't know, cold or heat. I think that could work. 500 points, 500 Next points. Next time I'll have something you'll want. I'm sure of it. Okay, so that means two goals. To work for this time around. No, no wait, no, not two goals. Our goal is to go to Armatus to do the mission for Dante to collect him, his parts. We also have to do the Deep Archimedes to use up our Natrocell points. Because I think if we now check with the... With the dog, it should have used up two... Natrocells. Natrocells. Let's go. Search pills 8 out of 5. Wait, how did we get 8 out of 5? Why do, why do we have so many pulses? To leave the iron, it's got to all for key glyph. Be wary. Uh huh. Search pills and then find natural cells. The sanctum anatomica can only generate 5 search pills per week. Use them wisely. Refresh in two days. Wait, I I, mean, I, I want to search this up. Search pulses. The PSA mentioned giving us five extra Netrocell pulses this week, so that even if we spend five of them on Netrocell runs this week, we have five more to spend on Deep Archimedes. Uh, okay. But I'm not entirely sure how we, uh, how they're using it up. Because entering it like this uses up one of them, right? Who am I gonna ask? Bird? I wouldn't want Lloyd to struggle, so here. Several experiments are threatened by the murder as they near completion. Each person on Molivar grants one reaches point, permission, completed. Good works via a three-phase response. Transference into Error. operator and drifter is Before blocked. We can't have that. Low, we shall not return. I prefer not to lose any energy either, though. Komak, the Pox, and Arco. Do we have one of those? Do we have a Komak? What, really? Uh, no. Equipment. Arsenal. I don't think I have a Komak. Wait, I do have a coma. Okay, so we could have just a, pr a secondary coma, even though we're not really using the gun that much. But now it counts as an extra point, right? So if you do it now, like this, we get the Entratri Lothorn reward. Remember, our aim is to safeguard Master Bird three. What I wouldn't give for some of that optimism. <sighs> My comeback is uh, pretty much useless, but hey, <laughs> if I'm mostly using melee and uh, uh, 
If I'm mostly using melee and my primary, it should be fine, right? I hope, maybe. The enemy has massed and moves to strike at the heart of our lands. And from there, the mana. Phase one, repel assault. I'm Phase doing zero damage to it. Also, I'm alone. That's not good. I guess we can. Yeah, it's also draining my energy. That's not good. Okay, at least that gives us a little bit of energy. Energy gain is so little though. Give me more energy. To do this with a group then. I'm not doing any damage to this thing. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it like for three missions doing this. I wonder would Valbon work? What does that thing do? It seems to be like invincible for a very long time. Drain, I can't really do stuff. Uh, I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. How am I alive? How am I alive? to get away from that uh, necromech. So what if I die after only completing one of them? Jeez, 
because they hit so hard. And I'm literally doing zero damage to them. Why am I doing zero damage to them? Yeah, look at this, it's all zero damage. All the all the zero damage. I don't get it. the logic in here Yeah, they just hit me, hit me once and I'm already down. What the hell? Wait, I, I feel like I'm doing more damage <laughs> as an operator than as a warframe. What the hell is that? No, it's still zero. That's intentional. Those enemies are creepy as heck. Yeah, definitely. How do you think we should fight them? Because I, I, I see so many zeros on my screen. You right? Did I just skip them or? I don't think that's a solution. Hey, it's just untargetable. There's probably people asking questions about this online. There's probably uh, something I'll have to look at uh, after this mission. Because it doesn't make sense that they don't explain it well why I'm doing zero damage or there's no like high priority target. Yeah, I shoot it once and then suddenly it's like, okay, you can't do anything with it anymore.
Who's giving the shield, so? Hey, see? I, I hit it a few times. I think it's one of those enemies gives like a shield so you can't target them anymore. Guys, could you like stop that? Yeah, suddenly I'm doing like a lot of damage and then there's long periods of time where I can't do anything at all. Wait, they they grew up when you shot them? Oh light up. I'm dead. Okay, let, let's see what that does. Uh, Warframe, Murmur, zero damage. Let's see if other people also have the same issue. Immunity damage. Hmm. Wait, maybe I can ask it in the Warframe Discord. I should still be in it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, people are also complaining about the visual effects uh, on this mode.
If so, one modifier is a vulnerability unless a player is within 50 meters. Okay, so the modifier in that mission apparently made it so that you had to be close to an enemy. Let's double check the mission description then. I wouldn't want Lloyd to struggle, so here I am. Lloyd has tasked us with finalizing several experiments, and there will be no coming back until the job Oh yeah, enemies will done. only take damage if a player is within we 50 meters alone. of them. But then you also we have energy exhaustion, so you have to be like you have to be exactly between we fail, we 10 and 50 meters of them, so you can still do damage, but they don't we drain see. energy. May our sacrifice that seems stupid. Alone. Like you have to be exactly between, yeah, the 15 and 10 meters. Yo, people actually do this on like, like the full-on loadout. Gee very hard definitely and then there is also the disruption right two necromactic monitors will attack any conduit Also, I want to check if I fail the mission, the does it still use up the currency? Bird three. Hey. IMO, solos no, I'm still on eight out of five. Okay. You're the so at least it doesn't use up currency. But it does mean you sort of want to use a shotgun for this if you have to be close to them, right? Uh, equipment. So this is really end end game where you have like a lot of weapons made. Uh, this does status. Although I'm not sure if this actually does any damage to them. Oh, I guess we'll see. And I think I'm gonna put this one off. Because energy exha exhaustion is just too much for me. And I also want to double check something else. Murmur. Resistant to slash plus no armor. Resistant to heat plus no armor. Resistant to heat. Wait, wait. Resistant to toxin plus no shield. Weak to electric. A viral electric for dot builds. A radiation cold for raw damage build. Oh, so electric is actually more interesting. Hmm. This will be a nightmare to me because I do focus on using my energy. Yeah. Well, you, at least you can turn some on and some off, right? But I feel this is not something you can do as a normal player unless you have like unless you get lucky with like the individual parameters. And I actually went into open group, but no one showed up. So that also means that not a lot of people are playing this. 
Or maybe they, they played at the beginning of the week and used up all their murmurs already. Remember, our aim is to Can we try again? Murmur or no murmur, I... Hopefully we get an actual group. Oh, yeah, we got one person. We got a second person. And is that a third person? Yeah, we got three, three people. Level 26, 15, 21, 22. I'm the highest level around. But I better not die then. <laughs> But maybe that does mean I have to like redo some some stuff. Let's maybe actually make very specific builds for murmurs now. Because murmurs seem to be like the new end game. Was this teleporting dude as well? That's yeah. I'm not doing a lot of damage to this guy. Well, maybe if I shred his armor. There we go. Going down, that's not a, I'm the only one alive. Yo, it only takes a lot one thing for everything to go down the shitter, apparently, on this mode. Time to pop off Mentor Jit. No, I'm not a Burger King, I don't have a crown, you see. I guess it works for a melee build, but you have to be very lucky not to get the energy drain one because if you get energy drained, you're just screwed pretty much. Because then they want you to be close to the enemy, but on the other hand, you can't be touched by the enemy because then you die rather quickly. Where am I? Oh. No, the dude is down again. Where's this dude? Abilities, I can I can actually do some damage. Although even with that, these guys are still tanky as hell.
two people are dead. So they're dealing with the... Shoulders are down. Damn. Wait, you can't armor shred those guys? I think we really did get carried on the on the last try. Or was it because Frost could more easily destroy enemy shields? one mission at least up to the next one <laughs> yeah. so that means for this mission you want something that does radiation and cold or that does uh, electric and what was the other element the last players weren't dying so much, right? Yeah, they were a lot more tankier. What I dislike about this mode though, is that it resets your progression on your HP and your uh, power strength. So every time you switch mission like this, you, use your st you lose your stacks again. Which is pretty bad. I think. They probably adjusted the build to survive. Yeah, probably. Like even this warframe that I'm using right now is like almost like 1200 armor base. And then if I keep stacking on top of it, it should become even higher. to a table. Electric and ice. Them hanging in, in crowd control apparently seems to help. Luckily I can spam Tempest Barrage. Even though it's not doing damage unless I'm close to it. I actually have to build new weapons.
it hits me with cold, so it actually slows me down as well. Damn. Did you summon tentacles? Uh, I'm not sure if I have enough energy. Yeah, I do have enough energy for that. But even if they're hit by the tentacles, see, they're not getting CC'd. <laughs> My handgun is so bad. I'm doing more damage using this gun <laughs> as an operator. Maybe I should just play Ash or something. Just finish your damage. What warfare are you using? I'm using uh, Hydrate at the moment with a uh, subsume for crit damage. As long as they're in my tempered barrage, I can more easily do damage to them because I'm shredding their armor but if they're outside it, I'm in trouble Here, yeah. as you can see, it lowers their armor value and then I can just do this and whoop, and then they're down but the problem is like the setup Like it works fine on normal enemies, but at the moment I have to fight Necromax, I'm screwed. As you can see, now I can kill them. Yeah, I get 2 million crit. <laughs> That's more than enough damage. But you have to get to that point, which is uh, more of an issue, I think. Yeah, now I just, at the bottom right, you can see uh, plus 1000 armor. So I have like 2200 armor now, which should give me, make me a lot more tank here. See, now they're taking a lot of damage. But that's only after armor shredding. Now we have to get away. There's another... Necromech, we don't want to deal with those. Wait, that's nice over here. more 
Okay, now do now you have to do the heat regulation thing. Oh, that's annoying. Look at that where the bar has to be, like very close to, to the end. Very close to overheating. It's a little bit too low. Up to the next one. Fire and ice. Press the staircase over here. Also, an ally is down. Oh no, he's dead. Uh-oh. What does that mean for us if he's dead? Can we revive him or... Void Angel to, to revive any case squad mate. Okay, where are you at? Where are you at, buddy? Void Angel in the basement. Infinite ammo. Hell yes. Where's the Void Angel though? <laughs> fire rate of infinite ammo, look how, how fast I can fire now. I'm just not doing a lot of damage though. <laughs> Where's the Void Angel though? Oh, there you are. Body should be back now, right? Yes. Oh, that's cool. So every time you an ally gets down, you can actually revive them by defeating the Void Angel. I like that way more than just permadeath. That one, that one was electric. He's down again. Yo, this guy, he is only on two seconds whenever he dies. That means we don't have a lot of time to keep him alive.
Like my entire benefit on my build is that I at least have health regeneration. That's why I keep having like maximum health. Like you can see the number going down and then going up again, right? Okay, now it's going up again. Because I have like seven and a half uh, HP per second health regeneration. I feel like we're getting very unlucky with uh, the elemental drop rate as well. We need fire. So you should be very far from the enemies when your shield is down. Uh, well, depends on how you planned out your build, right? Oh, well, question Aiko. Uh, I'm not sure. Were, were you like level 2 or were you like legendary 2? like rank 2? I think it, it, it said a 2 on your account, but I'm not sure. Rank 2? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm asking just to be sure that I know what I can talk to you about. But uh, you have different ways of building your character, right? The things you usually have to take into account at the end game is that you have enough health regeneration, uh, that you can shield gate or like mitigate the damage. Wait. Mitigate the damage, health regeneration, and armor shred on the enemy, and then losses damage output. So the way that I make my builds is that I gain energy back by killing enemies with heavy attacks and I gain energy no, melee combo counter by finishing enemies with a finisher attack. And I armor shred by doing this thing, like these water bombardments, that's how I armor shred the enemy. And the more enemies are hit. Ooh, he, he went down again. But you also notice that my max HP is slowly increasing the longer we are in this mission, right? So that's just also another thing. Can you see my build? Sure. Uh, I think if you link it in game, then I should be able to see it. And you do that by bracket open, then press mod config, and then close bracket. And then press enter and then you should be able to click what you want to show. But you have to whisper it to someone, I think. We need fire. Fire, fire, fire. Wait, I see fire here. Did that pick it up? I don't see... Two of them. There's another fire over there. There's 81. Are there any more fires? Internet is still being weird? Yeah, no problem. You can, you can do it later if you want. We have to keep up the pressure. Someone, all, someone else got the last piece of fire.
So now on the left side you see that bar, right? From blue to green to yellow to red. You have to keep it at the brackets without letting it overflow into into red. And as long as it's within the bracket range, it should be charging up. And that should be our second... Okay, that's our second mission. We can exit the mission and go to the third mission, which is probably the toughest one. And once we're out, then... Let's see what happens. Oh no, he's down again. He has died. Uh-oh. I wonder if he revives at the next part of the mission. Oh, someone's killing the Void Angel. Oh no, Haru went down again. No, you can't be serious. I think this dude is a little bit too low level to be doing this mission. He's uh, around, what, rank 15? Let's see if it revives him if we go into the next part of the mission though. I wonder if you're gonna have enough damage output to actually kill the the enemy in this last bit of the mission. Phase three. Your efforts have ensured the production of essential materiel within arterial conduits. Secure said materiel. Ow. Ensure the continuation of Master and Trati's research efforts. Go.
hope we are getting any rewards though, because at the moment, this is all we got out of this mission. That's not a lot. We might be suffering through a lot of pain, even though we're not getting any rewards. That I I hate that. Well, hopefully that's not that's not the case. So far, I didn't see anything saying that you can only get it once a week. How many shotgun shells do you need? All of them apparently. Yeah, maybe I should... Uh, I hear it. His down timer re got reset. It. That's good knowledge. Where is it? Good damage I've put though in this mission. Haru is down again. Oh no, we're gonna have to fight another Void Angel now. Okay, so dying is actually a big negative for your team because they have to keep fighting like the, the Void Angel to keep reviving you. It actually spawns in like a stronger enemy. Although, it, compared to Murmurs, it's not too bad. But it distracts you from finishing the mission, right? We are back. I gotta get something to eat. Yeah, no problem. I'll probably get something uh, to, to eat after this fifth mission as well. Because uh, I hear my stomach has been growling for a bit now. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too noticeable on, uh, on stream. <laughs>
Darn it, now I'm down. Oh, maybe I can last guess. You revived me, thanks, buddy. Wait, we already completed that. We don't need that. Yo, I'm curious. Would Loki work in this, these type of missions? So there's a lot of rewards up there. Get in there again. <laughs> the insane firing speed again. Six out of eight, we're almost done. Life steal weapons. Yo, that's what we want. Just the last one now. I have a gut feeling we might not be getting rewards for this. Like you can only do it maybe once a week. damage resistance it's the last one I'm 
Okay, we're done now, right? We can exit the mission. We're back. Material secure. Tenno intact. Let me see. These are well then. Ideal. Thank you, Construct. You have been you have been most helpful. See, do we get anything? Nope. Doesn't look like it. We did have 420 percent accuracy though. 420. Okay, so you only get the reward once a week then. Is what I'm guessing. That's good to know. But um, I'm gonna take a short break. I'm gonna get some food, uh, something to drink, and then I'll be back again. Uh, it will be less than five minutes. So stay tuned. return with some food
at least we know we on, uh, only have to do that once and then we have to do it we have to do three necro necro cells and then you're burning through your entire supply right So I saw another event thing. One time reward. Infested salvage. Hmm. <laughs> Great. I have to get something else. I'll be right back. Give me a moment. with the system needs you. Will you begin another mission? Hello. I'm back again. Mm. I got some food, I got something to drink. I think I'm prepared again. We could go for the Rhino deck skin, but it's low priority because it's still six days, right? Meanwhile, we also have... We also have this. For the Archon Hunt. Or... Mutual list. Hmm. You can also just try to co collect stuff. A lot of exterminate at the moment. Exterminate wouldn't be so bad. And it's low level, right? What if we do steel pack? No, I don't like these.
I don't think there's anything specific that we're still farming for. platoon of Grenier Marine stationed here. Leave no one standing. Watch out. I'm detecting bullet fissures nearby. Do you have a matching relic? A fissure. Defend yourself and use reactant to open relics. Corrupted clones are dropping reactant. Use it to crack open a relic. Don't forget the reactant. You need more to open that relic. We can't overkill either, Stay focused. otherwise There's we don't get any reactant focus. from it. You're still in the clear. No detection from enemy sensors. The enemy is broken. Well done. Wait, where do they want us to go? You have collected enough reactants to open the world. Might as well pick this one. I don't have it yet. Although I think I already have the Sabaris made before. Oh, Nightwave is also still going on. I wonder, is it a new Nightwave or... It's still the old night wave. Make exceptions for the exceptional. Enter the heel obliets. There are wolf beacons though. We can buy one of those. How much is this? 50. We don't have enough yet. But we can easily get the points to, to get next to that point. I didn't know before that they just sold prime weapons like at the uh, Barricadeer. I thought he only had Trisma weapons or maybe Vandal or whatever. Platoon of Grenier Marine stationed here. Leave no one standing. Watch out. I'm detecting void fissures nearby. Do you have a matching relic? A fissure. Defend yourself and use reactant to open relics. The corrupted enemies are dropping reactant. Collect it to open the void relic. Don't forget the reactant. You need more to open that relic. Stay focused. 
focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Ah, I bumped into the ceiling. That's it. You opened the relic. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. The enemy is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. Oh, I think they're using a flash more. That's the most valuable. That's 45 ducats. Sweet. We still don't have Texeltra Prime either. <laughs> we have so much more left to farm in this game. <laughs> like every everywhere that I look, I, I think like, oh, I still need to do that. And I still need to do that. I should definitely do more of these, uh, what are these called again? The void fissures. I'm always too lazy to do them. Like I have so many stocked up. Although maybe if you're on the lazy side, maybe you can also just sell them. And when you sell them, you can get the plat for it. And with the plat you can, I don't know, buy something that's not popular, but still worth a lot of ducats. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> there is a large platoon of Grenier Marines stationed here. Leave no one standing. Watch out. I'm detecting void fissures nearby. Do you have a matching weapon? Or near a fissure. Corrupted foes are dropping reactant. Use it to crack open a relic. Don't forget the reactant. You need more to open that relic. Damn, yeah, who's? Stay focused. Who's Mr. There's Speedy? A unit approaching. The enemy is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. Ability range, ability strength have doubled. I love this one, especially for frost, but you have collected enough reactants to open the relic. Back, what did I miss? Uh I also went for some drinks and food, so you didn't miss much. Uh we're planning or trying to collect enough uh, ducats to buy that special gun in the in the store. Garuda. Let's do Fang Prime. <laughs> it's all... Why is it all censored? <laughs> what the hell are they saying?
What did you get? Uh, you mean for the previous mission when I did the the deep dive for a second time? I didn't get anything. So apparently it's a mission you can only do once per week. And then it takes two natural cell stacks or uh, scans or whatever. Oh, what did I get for food? Sorry. Uh, I just got some milk and I got some uh, some sandwiches. That's it. Just very simple food. So I can easily chow down and just continue streaming again, right? If I got anything complicated, then I couldn't play games anymore. And it's still a little bit too early for dinner over here. Stationed here, leave no one standing. There are void fissures in the area. Use these to crack open the wall. A fisher, defend yourself and use reactant to open relics. Defeat the corrupted and use their reactant to open a relic. You are going to need more reactant. Also, I need to go look in the settings to lower the visual effects of this game because sometimes I feel like it's getting a little bit too much. Especially with the murmurs. You have collected enough reactant to open the relic. The enemy is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. Keep going. Nobody knows you're here. Yeah. I'm stuck. Oh, I let my greed win? Wait, what did you get? Would it be greed or would it be gluttony though? <laughs> uh, oh wow. Let's go for the Bronco Prime Receiver. It depends. Ah. Like I'm, I'm just. Uh, it's, it seems that I found a lucky, fast running group, that like are running these missions very fast. So I'm gonna try to make max use of that. Hopefully get uh, enough ducats to buy that special gun. Let's see, we need 500, right? So that means either 10 missions of 45 or a way more on 15. If we can get missions where we just get 100 ducats, that would be nice. But then we have to get lucky and get the, the gold rewards from the mission. Eliminate all corpus threats. Watch out. I'm detecting void fissures nearby. Do you have a matching relic? You're near a fissure. Collect reactant to open your relic. Be aware. I've got a bowl of ice cream and a big Nutella cheesecake and just mash it together. Oh! You made it like a, a very fancy dessert? Or is this what you're gonna call lunch? <laughs> or dinner? Stay focused. I think we have to go in that direction. Or I'm lagging behind. There we are. Dip, dip. Those are the last two that I need. The relic has been cracked open. Finish your mission to find out what's inside. The enemy is broken. 
broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. Keep moving. None of the scanners have detected you. It's too hot where I live. Ah, let's see. Yeah, this is only worth 15, too bad, but. I'm not sure what they're saying, it's all censored. But nah, now I feel like ice cream. Maybe later on the day after dinner. I think we still have some in the house. platoon of greener marine station here leave no one standing void fishers you need them to open a relic but are you confident you can withstand their fury you found a fisher look out for reactant the enemies are dropping reactant the reactant is working on your relic find more mm. stay focused there's a heavy unit approaching. So, Aiko, I have a question for you. How is your experience as a viewer watching someone else playing Warframe? Like, because I know I have control of my camera, right, and my movement. But I figure that maybe for someone else who might be watching the gameplay, like, stuff like this could feel like... It's going by super fast. Well done, Tenno. Your relic is opened. Especially if you're smashing into uh, walls. You are surrounded by. Hey, we got a forty-five. Do good thing. I'm also getting a lot of uh, essence for them picking my uh, reward, like the void uh, traces. For someone new to the game, a bit. Mm, yeah, that's what I'm worrying about as well. So, like, if I'm playing Frost uh, or Hydroid, I'm usually slow enough that people can still track what I'm doing. But uh, in a group when we're playing together with a Vault, where they speed boost you, some things go like go by like super fast. So that's what I worry about a little bit, like about these kind of games, especially with like how fast the or like how blinding the special effects are in this game. Makes me wonder how much danger there is for like people who are maybe sensitive to like epileptic attacks or whatever of Grenier Marine stationed here leave no one standing watch out <laughs> I'm detecting void fishers nearby do you have a matching relic a fisher defend yourself and use reactant to open relics collect reactant to open your relic be aware only corrupted enemies will drop it you are going to need more reactant if you want to open that relic I guess it's also depending on what tile set you're on. 
Like this one is very painful because there's a lot of nature, so it's very hard to, to know where you're going. You just follow the beacon, like the, the green icon usually, and hope for the best. Or you just memorize the tile set and eventually you, you just know where to go. Oh yeah, that's a good a good warning thing. Volnus Prime, I don't have that I think. But that's a good idea uh, uh, about the uh, about the pin. Let's see if I can actually do that already. Oh, I can't do pins yet. I think, unless I'm like affiliate or how do you call it? Yeah, if, I, if I'm partnered, I think I can do pins, but before I can't. <laughs> Literally everything they're saying is like blocked for me. <laughs> then have a mod doing it. Wait, have a mod doing it? Wait, let's see. Users in chat. Chat highlight settings. Chat settings. Show mod icon. Huh. No one standing. I'm not really seeing it though. There are void fissures in the area. We use these to crack open a relic. A fissure. Defend yourself and use reactant to open relics. Use that reactant to open a relic. Don't forget the reactant. You need more to open that relic. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Damn, some people are like very good at this stuff. I wonder if that person is using Gauss. Broken their ranks and they are on the run. Another successful mission. Find extraction. Find extraction, yes yeah, sure. If the they has been cracked open. If they gave me a direction on where to go for the exit. Person or Lex Prime. Another job well executed. Oh, I think they're just talking with each other or something. But you have time as Shin or John, and you don't have a bot, right? Hmm. I do have a bot, but it's not a too active at the moment. Uh, it seems to sometimes to be uh, malfunctioning a little bit. But it, uh, normally if there's enough activity in the channel, uh, if there's like certain amount of messages passing by per, per minute, then my bot should be responding like, oh, you can join the Discord or uh, like that sort of stuff, right? But it's only if, if there's like high activity going on. Oh, did I left the group? I think I left the group. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can sell some stuff. Let's see how much points we already collected. 
at this point, at this stage. But yeah, it's a good plan to ask him, like, oh, can you only pin once you're affiliate or partnered? Also, how's your internet, by the way, at the moment? Uh, has it stabilized a little bit more, or you're still Hello. struggling? May I extend an invitation to you? My latest collection of choice items from the void is now available for viewing. Wait, let me. Do I do I own a person? Inventory. Burst. Yeah, I got a Burston Prime, so I can I can sell pretty much every part I got of the Burston. So that means this one, this one, and this one. The off Bronco Prime blueprint. We need a second Bronco Prime for that. We can sell this one though. Ah, yeah, yeah, they have a bot one, yeah. Or maybe I um, I can also put it in the title, right? Uh, like warning, flashing lights or whatever. So why is my caps lock on? Blueprint. We just only need the Asila Prime Barrel and then we got it. This is a complete gun and I was planning to give John this weapon if he ever joins me in Warframe. Then I can just give him the Bratton Prime. Chroma. We already got a Chroma. just need one more part for the thing as well equinox did we make equinox prime i don't remember There's a, at the Nell Prime Blueprint, there's a symbol that I masked it, and that means I own it. Same for Lex Prime. Also, my internet is a little bit, is a, being a little bitch to me. <laughs> Aww. Well, hopefully it gets fixed soon. I also have Mag already. Magnus. There's a uh, Ikana Prime. Pandor Pondero Prime Blueprint. Apparently I own this one already. <laughs> you also own a Tatsu Prime. You also already own this one. I'm not selling wisp parts. We need one more wisp. We need a wisp blueprint, and then we can make wisp prime. We got the uh, chassis, we got the neuro optics, and we got the systems.
Okay, we're on 574. Oh, no, 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 575. I'm thinking about changing my internet company because this F's up a lot. Yeah. Like, I'd rather have, like, period, periods of having no internet at all than having shoddy internet. Like, if it keeps connecting and disconnecting, connecting and disconnecting, that's the most annoying part, usually. Because then you're trying to play a game or do something online and then it just cuts out. So they said it was something in options. Accessibility. Uh, colorblind, compensation, preview, visual, visual effects intensity. Control the brightness and contrast of all visual effects. Okay, we can lower that to for example, 30. Hopefully that lowers the intensity of special effects. Reduce teammate visual effects, yes. So we don't get like blinded by our teammates either. Enemy highlight. Enhance enemy visibility with a customizable highlighting aura. Setting will pre preview on your warframe. Oh, okay, so if, if you can't see it clearly, like if you have struggle, if you struggle with uh, seeing the silhouettes of the enemies, you can use this and then... <laughs> you, can, you can make your enemies piss yellow. <laughs> But it's nice that they added that to the game, right? For people who might be suffering from like vision impaired things or... Oh, you can also have allies highlighted. Or yourself. <laughs> Yo, they added a lot to... Enhance ally visibility with customer highlight uh, settings will be... Should I do this? Sometimes I struggle whenever there's like, for example, a Necros in a party because he kills enemies and then he resummons those enemies as minions. And sometimes it's hard to see what a minion is and what an enemy is if there's a knight in your team though. So with this you could actually show that. Oh, maybe we don't do it on an enemy and we only do it on allies. So it's easy to see who our friends are and everything that's not blue is an enemy. Something like that. Customize hot colors. Mm, I think I'm happy with most things. But it's nice that, that you that there are other options. Wait, what's what's Lotus? Oh, okay. And neon. I don't like that one. Yo, could we make it blue and orange? For example, red, we remove red and then turn it into orange. Is that possible? And then shield. Oh, shield is already blue. And then 
Overshoot could, for, could, for example, be like a dark blue or something. Hmm, I'm not sure about this one. But it's nice that they allow you to customize your interface. The, you don't see a lot of games doing that, right? Also, I think that maybe shield, overshield, and overguard would be too much the same color if we did, did it this way. So maybe this is still better. Yeah, I'm fine with, with just standard, but it's nice to know you can actually change it. Wait, prefer default HUD as Drifter. Mm -hmm. Enable screen shake. We can disable screen shake. The ceramic separators. Hmm. Yeah, this is my way of seeing stuff. <laughs> Let the genification <laughs> begin. <laughs> it depends if you're from America or if you're from Europe, depending where you put the dot and where you put the comma. Like in Europe, we do it like this. But I think in America, they do it the other way around. Hit skill, show damage number. Enhanced, compact. Oh, can we make the damage number smaller so they don't fill up the entire screen? Should you make glitch instead of icons? Should you name mates? Yes. Show ability dots on radical. Show ability banner on cast. Show enemy names. Show health over enemy. Use snipe scopes. Lock map rotation. Mark your pet. Prefer overlay map. I think this should already help a lot. Maybe. We can test it out in... Deception, defense... Survival... Oh! Alchemy! That's funny. You don't see alchemy missions that often. Hmm... I think exterminate would still probably be the best. Oh, where are they? Well, uh, they're part of the newest. Uh, area right the new the newest biggest expansion thing so that's why you i guess you don't see them often because a lot of people don't have it unlocked oh look at this so ally minions now have this like bluish glow on them even my own dog what about players though okay yeah it also uh, uh, affects other people's pets Do you see, uh, yeah, you also see it on them. There's this, like, soft blue effect on them, which is pretty nice. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Oh. We have to go, we have to go back up.
Secondary weapon has an increased damage and unlimited ammo. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. Marines inbound. Okay, that's funny. Dick, 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 dick. Uh, no, I'm fine. I I'd rather just go for the exit than play my rewards. Ooh, there was also another gay uh, gun that seemed interesting, Ambassador, which was like a pure electric gun, or it starts as a pure electric gun. Boat is fine. And we got the challenge complete. Sweet. Also, this is forty-five, so that means we need fifty-five more, right? For the for the weapon. They just straight up left. Uh, I guess rescue is also a fast mission type. Like the ones that I prefer most is just capture. You just run in, capture one target, run out. Oh, I'm stuck in a loading screen, I think. Did I do something wrong? Oh, while we're waiting, I should check my schedule for next week. Uh, for work stuff. Detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. Bypass complete. You may proceed. Hurry up. You are running out of time. The reactant is working on your relic. Find more. There's a heavy unit approaching. Someone out there? I 
will not forget this, Tenno. You've located the hostage. Escort the prisoner to the extraction point, and I'll take care of the rest. Hello? Can I... Can you let me go, please? Oh, there we are. Melee weapon damage has increased. That's it. You opened the relic. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. shit we want that but we want to keep it probably phantasma i don't think we own that gun yet the captive has been secured you've done your part tenno we'll take it from here sweet Yeah, we only have the normal one. Do you have weapon parts? Oh, we need only the prime barrel. If you have the barrel, we have completed the set and we can make the prime version of the gun. Question, how are the how's the Akron building going? I have not started it yet. I actually started making uh, like a, a spreadsheet with my priority characters, which I have to build first before touching Akron, because uh, I noticed that I was lacking something in my t like in my in my account. Like I had a lot of nihility characters, but I'm lacking on the healers and the, the tanks, and I'm lacking on the. Uh, this is harmony characters and hunt characters so i actually uh said like oh i need to build Japard first because my only other tank is the fire mc and if i have Japard, then i can sometimes swap uh the mc back to physical if i want to uh let's see i built hanya and I still have to finish Branya because uh, I think Branya works better with Jing Lui because she gives like crit damage to her, while Han Hanya works better with uh, like people that that just need an attack boost. Uh, let's see. I'm also building Gallagher at the moment because he's a very unique type of healer he also does break stuff and he puts actually he actually puts a debuff on the enemy and if people attack the enemy then they get healed 
So that allows for a very like hyper aggressive party where you debuff the enemy and then you wail on the enemy with all your abilities or multi-hit skills. And that should heal your party then. So you're like less defensive. I think that would be nice to have on, on my account as a as an opposite to Nihility. Because Nihility is very like war of attrition based, right? Like damage over time. But in some modes in the game, you only have like limited amount of turns. So you actually have to fight very fast, right? Or do maximum damage in a certain amount of time. So I need some of the hunt and harmony to, to make that work. Otherwise I'm locking myself out of certain content. There is a large platoon at Grenier Marine Station here. Leave no one standing. Although, if I think about it, isn't Akron still front loaded damage? I think Akron still wants like crit damage, right? If I think about it. The thing we got the doc. Oh, yeah, Dr. Ratio. Yeah, he's also one of the characters I still need to build. Man, I haven't even, like, finished building Don Hang. I feel so slow in these kind of things. Also, I tried the bartending game. It's a lot of fun. Like, combining the drinks and then mixing and then adding another layer on top and then adding ice cubes and decorations. You are surrounded by Grenier Marines. Use that reactant to open a relic. So, uh, somehow I always want to make the drink look nice. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense, right? That me as a bartender VTuber would like to pour, to pour drinks. Synthesis device. Killing goes too far. Have I been unclear? I just don't care. It has to die. I want to finish my mission. Most people only have one build team. Yeah, that's the problem. Having only one build team, you need to have multiple, especially if you want to do the mirror hall, or hall of mirrors, or whatever it's called. You always need a secondary team, but you also need the elemental coverage to actually get the three star evaluation or evaluation. Being able to do that also gives you like new light cones, right? Also, I'm so close to getting a Clara. Like, I, I think I need uh, only like five more, so seven or five more silver tickets. And then I should have got, I should get Clara. Which is super useful if you want to fight the propagation, right? Because the propagation takes a lot of turns. Uh, we're locked. Uh, 
So if they take a lot of turns and then end up attacking Clara, then <laughs> Shrara can go uh, go nuts and attack everyone. Please give me something nice. Remember, building characters gives you free tickets. Definitely, yeah. Just leveling, uh, leveling them up already gives it. You don't even have to give light cones or whatever. Just leveling them up, right? I still have like quite a lot of characters that are like below level, below level thirty, I think, because I haven't used them yet. So maybe I could start doing that. The funny thing would then be is that uh, I'd have a destruction physical, I'd have a harmony physical, I'd have a healer physical, and then with Sushong, I, I, I'd, <laughs> I'd have a hunt physical. I can make an all physical team. Let's see, what other elements are am I lacking at the moment? I feel like... Yeah, wind. At the moment, I only have Sampo as a wind character that actually deals damage. Like, I don't have Blade. Okay, that's another 45. Oh shit, they said wait for him. Oh no. <laughs> Oops. Just one more, right? Just one more mission. Survival, interception, exterminate. Yeah, we can do another exterminate. Hysterix. Oh, this is what we need, right? We need one of these, yeah, if we want to get the Wisp, that is. Shushang is a ni nice to build up, especially uh, when you have her Light Cone. Oh, is it a, like a four-star Light Cone? Oh, that's doable then. I'm thinking about what to do next week. Like, should I do more uh, Honkai or... Because we already finished the main storyline, but I still have a lot of, like, side stories to go through. On the other hand, there's also a lot of other stuff I could do. Part of me feels like... Uh, Hmm. Still in the clear. No I still have like games I haven't finished yet, right? So part of me feels like I should revisit some of those games. And part of me also thinks about like trying out another game, but I fear that that other game might also be a very long time investment kind of thing. So that might not be... It's That's good it. to start now room. that I still Finish have to do a lot of we'll a stuff inside. in Honkai and I have to do a lot of stuff in Warframe and in Final Fantasy. That's also coming up, right? The enemy is 
broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. That gun is called Swords Blade. Let's see. We already own everything here, so we can. Yeah, I think we we completed our objective here. We can buy the gun now. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Now let's just hope that I have enough weapon slots uh, on my account to actually. Uh, Claim it. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna exit the party then, and then... Move here. There's a lot of games, but so little time. Damn, yeah. Th th that's the reason why I need to be like a full-time uh, streamer, right? If, imagine if I was just full-time streamer, I could actually burn through the games. But now I'm having like a huge backlog. Okay, we can sell two of these. And then one of these. That's 125. And then... Make 710, and with 710, that means we can buy that gun, right? Well, hello, this one. Golden warrior. Just back from the void, I presume. Uh, two slots for 12 uh, platinum. Yes, that brings us very close to zero on our account, but Perhaps it's worth it, I think. There's another game called Road Warden. It's more like text-based, it seems, but it also looks very interesting. And there's also, of course, Enshrouded. It's, uh, it's a shame that uh, I haven't been able to play with John in a while, though. And I guess it's the same with uh, the other game. Uh, what was it? Uh, For the King. We played For the King 1 and then For the King 2, right? Another dead tango. No, thank you. I don't want to see you. Um, we played For the King 2, but we never finished the, uh, like even uh, Storyline 1. Which is kind of sad, right? Because it's a good game. But it's, it's hard to get Shin and John and Oz together at one spot to stream at the same time because of like the time zone differences. Okay, so we have a new gun, right? Where is it? Where is our new gun? Oh, there it is. The Godfather. Long before Clone Rod sat in, Elite Grenier Commanders. Mm -hmm. So that means we probably want to well put together, operator. Now see unique there. trait. After inflicting a status effect, yeah. next shot has a 15% chance to have a critical chance of 300%. So that sounds like as if you want to have high status effect and then high hammer. Maybe in the future just don't give up hope on it. You mean on the on the multiplayer game, like for the king? Yeah, it's. It, I'm still memorizing it. I, I probably won't play any new games uh, in a co-op or collab setting un until we finish that one. Otherwise, it's just gonna add more to the backlog because there's also enshrouded, right? 
You know what? Before we actually invest in it, let's just equip it and bring it out into the... Let's see, where is it? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I think we have to go to... Samaris, I think, for the test location. So can we quick travel? Uh, Cephalon Samaris, and then if we go into this location, we can go into the ballroom. And this allows you to test your weapons. So we can say we want 10 bailiffs. They are paused on AI, they're on steel pad. Enemy level 160. Simulate. So how does this gun... Okay, so it's the red numbers. It's the red numbers that are like the, the super crits, right? As you can see. Can you check my profile? Uh, I don't think you can check it through profiles, but I can try. Uh, Arsenal, friends, communication, friends. Uh, 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 uh. Can I sort on name? There you go. Profile. Yeah, you, you can only see this kind of stuff. Like, I can see who you use mostly, what your preferred weapons are, or what your stats are. But I can't see your very specific build. If you want to share a build with someone, uh, I can help you for the future for that. It's like you can press uh, bracket open, mod, uh, config. You can just click on it like this. And then if you press enter. Oh, well, you can't use it at the moment, but you can use it in the orbiter. So I'll try it in a bit again. And then you can actually see how it works. But by whispering that to someone, you can actually share your build with someone and then they can see how it works. So I'm guessing hammer shot would be interesting because hammer shot is critical damage and it is status chance, which we both want, right? And that brings our critical multiplier to four times and our status to 48. Now we also want to look at status stuff, right? Plus 80 status chance on kill, 40 direct damage per status effect affecting the target for 20 seconds, stacks up to two times. I think that's also a nice one. It's, uh, impact, we don't have impact on this weapon. Hmm... What if we do electric on this gun? On headshot? Uh, on kill, plus 120 percent critical damage when aiming for 9 seconds. Oh, there's also multi-shot. That's a good point, multi-shot. Plus, yeah, plus 80 multi-shot on kill, more multi-shot. Oh, we need an... Okay, okay, okay. We can throw that on. And now we can equip this. Five percent chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapon. So that's our, those are the normal critical hits. And it gives even more multi-shot.
Is there more status stuff? On ability cast. No, I don't like that on ability cast. Mm. Enemies affected by cold status have 5% chance to spread that status to other enemies within 6 meters. Oh. That could be cool. Let's see. Precision headshot, on a melee kill, on normal kill, on toxing, toxing status effect, on weapon impact status, on ability cast, on cold. Yo, these are both stats that we would want on a cold weapon, right? So maybe we shouldn't go for voltage, we should actually go for ice, maybe. But then it turns into magnetic, and we don't want magnetic, right? Uh, how would we solve this? Hmm... Critical delay. Seven times damage multiplier. Let's see what the gun looks like if we fire it now. Damage seems way higher, but still, we're doing like minimal damage to them, as you can see. So what if we do this? Let's see, imagine we strip their armor, right? So now his armor is stripped, he has zero armor left. But now hit him. And then we kill him pretty fast. Still, I feel like hmm, maybe what if we tried corrosive instead? So that means it should be electric plus uh, toxin, right? Toxin. If you do it like this, there's a 100% chance to afflict corrosive, it lowers their armor. What we could then also add is heat, maybe? Let's see what it does. Uh, kill enemies, simulate. The problem is that it's still it's still not doing enough damage to actually shoot out enemies at level 160. It is it is a big improvement since what we had because it's like if you can see the shield at the on, at the, on the right side it's lowering because my dog is attacking it but it can also lower because I'm attacking it. Since it's on fire, it also just dies off on its own. What if you just do it like this? Let's 
2.6k, 2.6k, 2.6k. I like the gun, but I feel like it's missing something. Maybe more crit damage or something? It is still an unranked gun, so we can still add points to it by leveling up to level 30. Mm. I feel this one might not be that good, if I think about it. Because it says plus 40 direct damage per status type, affecting the target up to 20 seconds, stacks up to two times. So that's 80 damage. We literally have three elements. What if we put serration in? We're not allowed to put serration in, okay? What if we do it like this? I think I did the wrong order there. See, puncture, electricity, gas. Oh, yeah, it's the wrong order. Okay. Um, this one has to go here. So now it's heat and corrosive again. Oh, I have a plan. What? If instead of heat, no, uh, let's see. So we have the toxin and we have voltage for the corrosive, right? So we still have cold left. But the question is, should we do damage cold or status cold? Because we also have this one, but the problem is we don't have enough points to put it in. So there's 66.2 puncture, 39.8 cold, and then 79. That means there's not a lot of cold happening. But this one does benefit from cold status effect. That it increases our critical damage and it increases our multi-shot. Stacks up to 40. And since the gun is high fire rate, that helps with getting multiple procs off, right? On weapon magnetic status effect, enemy weapons jam within 50 meters of target, cooldown 60 seconds. That's not that good. <clears throat> On weapon impact status, we don't have impact. Primary bladed rounds. On reload, do you increase damage per round loaded based on max magazine size? Hmm. This one is also critical damage and multi-shot, but it uh, it works on toxin, which we can't have. We can certainly already level up the gun. We also have to start getting the primary frostbite stacks because this is just rank one, right? Oh no, even like lower, unranked. At max rank, we get plus three critical damage and plus 2.25 multi shot for 12 seconds, stacks up to 40 times. 
So 40 times 3%, that is 120% critical damage, and then plus 2.25, also times 4, that makes... How much? 9? Yeah, that makes 9. Like 4 times 2.25 makes 9. A 0 is 90, so 90% 90 multi-shot added. And then 120 critical damage if he can max out the stacks on this gun. Mm. Also means we have to max out our status. Or go for like the pure crit, that's also possible, right? Toxin. Yeah, we're not allowed to slot in anything else. It is an interesting gun, though. Appearance. Do we, do we own any secondary weapons we still have to level up? Uh, Bronco Prime over here. Go back to the Orbiter, yes. And now that we're back in the Orbiter, I can actually show you that command. So what we tried to do was open bracket, mod, on pig, close. See, and now it just shows whatever you have equipped. And then for example, if I want to show my hydric prime, then I does, just do this. So if I was whispering someone, I would be saying this to them. And then if they clicked it, they would see this menu. And then you can check someone else's build, like, oh, what what are they doing? What are their stats or what are, are their mods? I think that's the easiest way to, to do that. Let's see, do we also still have a Bronco in storage? We miss another Bronco. Yeah, we built one Bronco Prime, but we still need to make a second one. And then we can link it up and then we can dual wield this gun. Like we have two shotguns to... I, thi I think Egg Bronco is a shotgun though. Like a, a sawn off shotgun kind of type Sometimes thing. Sometimes Orders likes to assume he knows nothing. Nobody can learn what they think they already know. Uh, I probably have to check my inventory then. And no problem. Uh, there's a lot of stuff like that in the in the game where you just have to have someone point it out to you that it's possible and then you know it in the future, right? Uh, Bronco Prime Parts, I'm guessing. Yeah, I need an entire second set for this. Hmm. Might as well level up the gun if we if we own it anyway. Let's see, 
what's the best le level up? I am gonna guess we can just go to probably Onslaught. That's probably the fastest way to level this up. It's kind of funny though that these days you don't test your weapons against level 150 enemies anymore. These days they're level 400 enemies. You suddenly have to deal with. So against level 73 enemies apparently it's fine. Damn, one bullet, 32k. And but it is like very RNG based, right? If you have to get lucky on uh, on the super crits. I guess it also depends what kind of enemies you're fighting, right? If you're fighting Corpus, you probably want the uh, Corrosive build together with the Cold. But if you're dealing with uh, Corpus, you probably want... Uh, let's see, Magnetic maybe? Cold, Electricity, that sort of stuff? Maybe... Nah, not Blast. If I were to use this gun against the Murmurs, I'd probably have to make it Radiation and... Radiation? Cool. Also helps bring down those nullifier shields. That's also a nice benefit of this gun. Okay. I'm not. I'm not sure like how new this gun is to the game, but I definitely feel like I should look up some builds for it to see what other people are doing with it. Twenty-seven and twenty-three. 
So that probably means one more stage and then it should be rank 30. I've been thinking that maybe this week I have to take it a little bit easier because I still have a stream tomorrow, right? But probably not make it too late today. The max rank and now just the Bronco. It hits like a weapon door. Level 28. Uh, Enter the conduit now. Yeah, I think we can do one more. Oh, they're not doing a lot of damage against those guys, huh? No host migration. I feel like I'm maybe more tired than I thought.
Don't overdo yourself. Yeah, I know. I think I, I'm glad that I decided to stream earlier today. That means also mean means I can end earlier today, right? I probably wouldn't be able to like hold out till like 10 o'clock or whatever, or like 11 o'clock. This is still fine. Hunter, the sanctuary will go on without you. Here, max rank. Sadly, the Bronco Prime didn't reach uh, max rank, but 29 is still pretty good. So it gives us 10 extra slots to work with. We can also throw in a Forma if we wanted to. Mm. I'm not sure if this is worth it though, this, this mod over here. What other mod would be better there? If not that. Disappear puncture mod. Mm. And then there is also the Exilus, right? We can slot in here. More accuracy, more drum, stabilizer, less recoil. We can make it silent. Damage enemies while aim gliding. Hmm. Stand by while I analyze the intelligence profiles of the grenier. Error, not a number. Did the operator enjoy this witticism? Hmm. can just have this that instantly brings our critical multiplier from four to seven The chance of us hitting cold procs is pretty low though. Mm. It's not ready yet for like high level content I'm guessing, but it's something we can work on. Dex Nikana. A gift from the Lotus to com commemorate the 11th anniversary of the first channel waking from cryostasis. So it's a whole new Nikana. Okay. And we need this dual Skana for another build in the future. else can we do today hmm. 
Mm, we can check this out as well. Let's see, this time it is the Boar, the Gamma Core, the Anku Incarnate Genesis. That's the Gorgon this week. I don't think my Gorgon is enhanced yet. So if you do it like this, confirm. If before the weekend is over, if I get to rank 5 then I should be able to get that let me double check my Gorgons at the moment Gorgon yeah we just have a normal Gorgon it is not enhanced yet so if we can get that part then at least we have it on our account and later on we can farm for the materials to to actually apply the upgrades to our weapon i think that might be a good focus point for now or or the other idea is we just do these three missions which is a spy an excavation and a showdown yo people will not be pa like happy with this this week people hate spy and excavation Honestly, I sort of hate this combination as well. Yeah, let's try this then. What do we get? Wukong, the God, Ember Prime, Necros Prime, Korra, Sonicor. Damn. Unlucky with the weapon choices, huh? But it's better than nothing. And we, we are still gaining points for. As you call it, like we, we gain materials, we gain points for unlocking certain things still, if we go here. For people who don't know, this is like an RNG mode. Trained by a sentient over a Dax. Is it any wonder things fell out as they did? 191, we can so still spend more points. More. Drifter deals 25% plus 20 in origin system, both Drifter and Operator receive this boost. Oh, cool. Ambition braces the soul. Let's see, we have a Korra, we have a Dagat, we have a Wukong, we have an Ember, and a Necros. I think the only one we... I, I don't have any of these built, so that's going to be a pain. Uh, Tenet Flux. This is not going to be a good run, I think. This is going to be very bad, I think. Yep, the we're going to suffer. Drawn void angels to besiege the Undercroft. Luckily, for this mode, you only have to collect points. Onduviri may fall to something worse. Even than Thrax. You will have to be nimble to collect those energy gloams. But they are the only means to close the breaches. How much damage do I'm doing? Almost zero. Like this is more out of fire. Like a lot of numbers, but not a lot of damage. Yeah, 
it. You gotta go fast. Yeah, look at this gun. Blah. Oh! The target becomes 10% more vulnerable damage with each shot. That's good for this gun. You have insanely high fire rate, right? With this gun. So maybe we can still make it work. The void angels are unrelenting. You are all that is keeping them at bay. Hold fast. Fight on. Close the ruptures as you would staunch the wounds of a comrade. A breach has been sealed. Excellent work. But I do need to still test out the gun now that I have the upgrade. I need to find an enemy that I can shoot. There you are. Where are all the enemies? <laughs> there are the enemies. Void angels break through the wall. Their master you are. will be free. Do not allow that to happen. Okay, it's already a, a little bit better. It also depends on what enemy you are fighting, right? Yeah, look at this. Like suddenly we're doing 17k damage after a while. The enemy has been held at bay. Congratulations. Terminate. What do we get? On melee kill? No. Each successive melee? No. Every fifth shot that hits target launches a homing fireball. Yes. Because that's with, with, with this gun, with high fire rate, that's probably a lot of fireballs then. Yep. It's already killing faster. It's, it's starting to sort of... It's starting to work. Delete this for you. On headshot enemy inflict a toxin. That's also good. Because we can do a lot of headshots with this high fire rate gun. So we're infecting everyone in the area by headshotting him.
Yeah, I do feel we're running out of ammo very soon with this gun. So it's our secondary gun. What? What is that gun? Is it a laser or is it a sink? We shoot a single projectile and then the rest is is a beam. I think it's like a beam weapon. Which is also decent to aim at, a, at someone's face, I guess. You have to be at a certain distance from them to make good use of it. defense I'm willing to give it a try hopefully it don't die someone's AFK it seems this struggle goes on for as long as you can stand critical damage is doubles killing enemies restores health this Tenno asset is destined to be critical damage. let's go for the critical damage forces intervene and change its fate no time to rest Already a new onslaught begins. Status shows the extra. Do an extra hit with 40% corrosive. Hey, that's what we want. An extra hit on a fast weapon. That's. And status lowers their, their armor, right? So that's also good. The enemy musters for a fresh assault. Hold the line. Also, I'm not sure why, but suddenly I feel like 3D modeling next week. On the, maybe on a Monday?
I don't want to work on something big with just a small 3D project. Like accessories. Well, not, not, not like accessories on my model, but more like things to make short YouTube videos with. Or to decorate a scene with. Just to get a little bit more into it again. Because I uh, uploaded the new drink video this week. Figured I might as well start modeling a little bit more again. Excavation should be easy. I'll, uh, we're also already on stage three as well. We're doing. Oh, he's escaping. Do not expect me to tell you when to stop. Uh, shots to you an extra day with more corrosive. Secrets lie buried deep within the undercroft. The paradox provides the means to extract them. You can't really you fail this mission. It's mostly just kill them. them. Or like Deploy keep it alive. Them. Damn, I'm blind. Oh. An extractor is out of power. Each stack of corrosion grants 60 armor up to 5 times for 12 seconds. Uh, after rolling, increase critical damage multiplied by plus 40 for 4 seconds. I think I like the corrosive because we already do corrosive with our gun. And that helps us stay alive, right? Because we don't have a lot of armor on our character. An extractor requires power. Treasure. Extractor in place. Extractor deployed. Excavator under attack. How oh, they did two excavators at the same time? That's risky, yo. Since you also actually have to protect them. Excavator is almost destroyed. You allowed the enemy to destroy an excavator. Not my problem. I was still at the
give me your... Thank you. Yeah, they're starting to hurt a little bit more now. Assassination. Yeah, we can, that's possible. If we do assassination, we should also have enough points to get the Gorgon upgrade. Uh oh. What did I pick? And sure, it never returns. The body is well armored. The limbs, less so. I don't know what I don't know what I click. Just the cutscene started. Avoid the beams. Uh every fifth shot that hits target, 160 fireball, heavy attacks. Yes. Still some alive. Yeah, you first have to kill all the minions before you're allowed to actually deal damage to that thing. There's still one left. <laughs> what happened? It just sank it through the floor. <laughs> what, is, what is the jankiness? Uh oh, I'm bugged. 
No! No! Look at this! I'm moonwalking! Yeah, if, if something like this happens, uh... <laughs> Look at what that person is saying, like, lol. <laughs> ah, yes, totally normal way to walk, right? <laughs> like, okay, what if I just jump off the stage? What if I let myself get hit? Please kill me. It will not get up again. Finish it. Well, at least it's dead, and that means I'm out. <laughs> this victory serve as a That's a little bit too much scuff for me. Side for now. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Okay, so now we should have the the part that we needed. I think, maybe, perhaps. That should should have been enough. If I check now here, and go to circuit. Yes, continue. Secondary shiver. Uh huh. No, it only gave me the first two. How strange. I thought I was already at five, but maybe I I'm, I saw it wrong. Hmm. Yeah, but at least we got victory. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we're tier two into tier three. Okay, I saw at the bottom, I saw something being said about five, so I figured I, I already reached it, but we're at two, so we have to do it again. Let's see, Zephyr Prime, Wukong, Citrine, Varuna, and Corvex. Hmm. I think this is going to be just as scuff as the first round. But at the same time, we're also farming intrinsics, which are useful to increase our MR, uh, like mastery rank. I never really understood uh, Runa. I should really like go full builds on all these warframes, man. Like I've been making like singular warframes, like super OP, but I have not spent a lot of attention to the other ones. Let's try this one. We're Mr. Concrete. If you coveted anything in this world, Drifter, I would hope. Yeah, we have to. We have six, six intrinsics, and we need two hundred and five. So we. Have that's also something we have to farm for over time. Hey, Arca plus more. Yes, give me, give me. A Snipertron, a Redeemer, Prisma Oma, a Halikar Rat, Stadicor. Oh, is this the dual, dual wield? I think this is the dual wield one. A petty man. Or a singular Suba. 
ingratiating smile. This is a shot. This is the shotgun. It's almost like air punching. Rolling grants ammo efficiency, casting ability. Take fifty percent more damage. Or s yeah. No, no, no. Yes, mercy. This Warframe has sort of like a tower defense mechanic where um, it drops down towers like this. And someone else is apparently also playing the same Warframe as I am. Put down towers like this, and then if I ult them, then I can empower them so they do way more damage to anyone that gets near here. Can I charge someone else's tower or only my own? Uh, I guess only my own towers. Melee kill, heavy attack, ground slam. Sacrifice 50% armor to increase base damage for your shot by one for every 20 armor remaining. Sure. I need more damage. It's a, yeah, it's a good, it's a gun blade. Yeah, I don't like this round. Yeah, I'm not doing a lot of damage either. Like, look at this. Where's my damage? Where's my damage? Even with a shotgun to the face, where's my damage? Give me my damage. That animation. Oh, this one? Like this animation? <laughs> Why are you talking about uh, the Redeemer, the Gunblade uh, thing? That thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy with it either. Like, that's the sad thing about this game mode, is like, it gives you a random gun 
that you already own or might not own. Uh, if you don't own the gun, it gives you a random build. If you already own the gun, it, it's always your own build. Uh, so this game mode becomes better the more guns you own. Like, uh, so you have like your own private arsenal of weaponry. But if you only have a few weapons that are good, then you can become very unlucky in, in this setup. We're not doing a lot of damage against this annoying guy. Yeah, I'm literally doing zero damage with my stomach laser. I think it's safe to just exit this as soon as possible and try to get another to get better RNG. Yeah, I'm... I'm uh, <laughs> Why is my damage I put so low? I, I think I also got like just very unlucky on the um I will wait for you. on the gotcha. Just as I did before. Like uh both on picking my weapons in the beginning and Warframe, but also uh when I got the uh the random buffs. Oh well. Oh well. So now we try again. What do we get? Atlas for I Frost Prime. That's the one that we want. So hopefully we also get a decent weapon. Staphlos, Basmo, Akvasto, Train Rogua, Neferi, Guandao, Ortus Prime. I think the Staphlos of the or the Basmo was good. I'm not sure one of the two. But if we get Frost Prime. And we get some decent buffs with that that we can keep casting avalanche then we can armor strip give ourselves a shield which is good for survivability and also dealing damage to the enemy so we definitely want you if you don't want the staff loss the plasma yes we want that Neferi, a dual flaming fang blades of the Archon Amar, has a unique neutral combo that blasts out four short fireballs. Oh, that's cool. We're frost with a fire breath. <laughs> Trinroga, signature fish of the Kuva Guardians. I don't think that one was very good, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's a single shot. This might be better. Sikorus Prime. Yeah, I think I like this one more. Finish attacks, mid air, so every second you are moving, gain damage during combat, leap behind. Let's reroll. Each stack of corrosion, enemy on headshot, uh, toxin. This one may be. Because giving toxin is good against certain enemies. So this is the new Warframe, Dante. Seeker of knowledge, keeper of history, daring research of the Levarian lore. But I don't want to play him yet because I don't own him, so... 
his damage output would probably suck and I don't know his abilities either. <laughs> Noctua, light verse, dark verse, final verse. Status says increased by 50% on fully scanned targets. Okay. I like the speed on this gun. If you can get some, uh, if you can get that mod where you do more damage. Uh, with each shot, then we we will be good. <laughs> well, fuck around the and find out then. Yeah, I have to go read times. his skills first before I can like imagine the build for him. Them with blood. But Frost is too good to pass up on. Especially uh, because your buffs keep stacking in this mode. So eventually you have like very high power strength and you can instantly uh, strip armor this from 100 to 0 to be destroyed in a, zero ca in, in a simple cast. Intervene and change its fate. The enemy musters for a fresh assault. Hold the line. If you're gonna start it, you might as well defend it. Just freezing them also helps a lot in stopping their damage output. Uh, let's see. Yes, we want to refund our ability. launching me. Thank you. The winds blow fiercely. The rains do not relent. Still, the stout bow stands. I hate this. They're making the enemies fly around. Also, just a realization. It's weekend. Yay! <laughs>
been exhausted. <laughs> if only for now. Do not expect me to tell you when to stop. Judge. Casting an ability deals 50 corrosion damage to a nearby enemy applies two corrosion Secrets stacks. Damage radius doubles for Warframe. The paradox provides the means to extract hmm. them. You must protect the excavators and keep them powered. Extractor in place. Extractor requires power. Hear it, but I can't see it. A void treasure has been located. Not here. I hear it, but I don't see it. Is it in a tree? site may now be claimed. Enemies are assaulting your excavator. I feel so stupid for not knowing where it is. in place.
Domination established. I have a gut feeling that it's in a tree or something. Tractor is out of power. A way out. It's now open to you. But further buried riches. But someone found it apparently. For the taking. Did I? I advise you not to be content with merely doing enough. Creatures of the deep void are assaulting the undercroft. Rolling reload your weapon. After rolling increased critical damage. Finisher. Then Thrax may emerge. You will have to be nimble to collect those energy globes, but they are the only means to close the breaches. Update inbound in three minutes. We fix brutal inconsistency of Dante strategy line side checks. Oh. Oh, just in time. efficiency with who help or oh this one definitely this one because it's easy to say at max health as my warframe which means easy castings of avalanche and another avalanche and take another avalanche if the void angels break through the wall See, the initial balance changes were too much. We bumped it up to the middle ground between the pre and post. Oh, so they nerfed Dante and then now they're boosting him again? is closed. The paradox stabilizes. Imagine if I had the tenant and void together with like a limited freezing.
they say in your mission. Jackal may have been sent to explore Duviri. Ensure it never returns. A warrior must strike where the foe's armor is weakest. I like the hotfix uh, method of deploying updates. Like, they don't turn off the entire server. No. They just allow you to finish your mission. You can attack later. <laughs> Someone is linking with me. Fix the ploys. But I think I'm gonna try and continue onwards as long as possible since we got a good good run going. Depending on how long people wanna stay of course. gonna continue on it is my duty to make extraordinary demands of exceptional people your first shot after rolling increased critical damage I guess we're going with this Stack of corrosion, grant 60 armor, 
More damage affected by cold. Yes, because we're frost, so we're automatically doing frost damage. Do not Okay, now you're dead. <laughs> Last time it took so long to kill him, this time one frost aura and boom, you're gone. <laughs> survival world above will you lay your sword aside and rest uh let's see casting or ability 100 corrosive damage to nearby enemies or your presence that, let's is enough to hold the paradox at bay but the environment itself next has, has no cooldown i like this one because we're mostly reliant on Our ice aura, anyway. I hear, I hear, but I don't see. There we go. Someone else found it. So it's a very sad chance. Uh, so 50% chance to 
spread them. Hmm. No efficiency. Prepare to receive life support. Because with more efficiency, we can cast more. That's the most important part, being able to cast our avalanche to armor strip the enemy. Life support is limited. It must not be squandered. Also the nice way that I built my frost is that if you look at the health bars of the uh, teammates that I have, you see the very light blue number, right? That's overguard that I'm providing them every time I'm casting avalanche and hitting a lot of people with it. So besides armor stripping and being tanky, I'm also being useful to the team. It's like a second layer of uh, shield gate. Yeah, we can do defense. This struggle goes on for as long as you can stand. Uh, after rolling peace critical damage, history dictates. Here that this Tenno asset was destroyed in a grave setback to the cause. Let us rewrite that event. Prepare yourself. A fresh wave approaches. Why can I hit him? Okay, there we go. I think the team is a little bit aligned on me for armor shredding. <laughs> incoming stand fast the level 400 468 
resolve is being tested. Do not falter. Prepare yourself. A fresh wave approaches. was close. The enemy has been Oh, are we exiting? Okay, then we're exiting. <laughs> Damn, I, I overtook the leaderboard. Well, not really leaderboard, but I overtook the, the other guy in damage. I started with like just 20% or whatever, or 18%. And then uh, over time, I overtook him because of my armor shred, like being so good. Hey, yeah, look at this 42%. <laughs> and it's also because whenever I uh, hit the one target, the damage would jump over to the next enemy nearby. Uh, it was a toxin and also other status effects, so it was just a cloud of numbers that you could see. But yeah, that uh, probably means we should... Wait, can I... Can I... Damn it, I can't claim. I have to restart the game uh, before I can claim it, but I think we're done for today. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit tired, so I'm just uh, I'm just gonna chill a little bit after stream. But uh, yeah, we we got our Gorgon uh, upgrade. We checked out the new mission mode, which is pretty much a murmur version of the existing game mode, where you have to like find the keys, unlock it, and then you get a reward. Apparently, that's how you get Dante. Uh, it's probably gonna take a while before we like s save enough points to actually be able to buy uh, Dante with the points, or like get lucky enough to find his uh, his parts in the missions. But uh, eventually, we'll get him. And it was also nice that they added a new mode, so you have a bigger chance of gaining the Tau Forged and also gaining the. Uh, what is it? The Crescendo Melee Arcane? I, I like the update. It it's not too big, but it works. And I should probably... Yeah, wait, but that's the one last thing I want to do, maybe. Can I at least check? Let's see... Can I see Dante's... Dante collection? Oh yeah, here here it is. Um, so he has a passive Noctuag scans targets, recording information for your codex. Status chance increased by fifty percent on fully scanned targets. So that's that's helping you gain lore bits, but also deal more status chance with enemies. Then the first one is Noctua. 
Open Noctua, Dante's exalted tome and unleash a tale of woe upon his enemies. Light first, Dante vitalizes composition. Wait, Dante's vitalizing composition grants him and his allies overguard and increases their health. So this is like a tank ability. Dark first. Dante's composition draws blood from nearby enemies, inflicting slash damage upon them. And then final verse, Dante must compose two other verses before his final verse. Triumph, two light verses cast in succession invigorate allies with a buff that increases health and grants overguard. Kills and assists briefly regenerate overguard. Press tab to cycle final verses. Oh, okay, so if, if I cast light verse twice and then final verse, then it turns into the uh, into the buff for allies that increases health and grants overguard. So that's a defensive one. And then I'm gonna guess that if you cast dark first, yeah, yeah, two dark verses cast in succession attack enemies. Any damage over time they have suffered accumulates in a single blast. So if you have toxin effect on them, heat damage effect on them, bleed damage effect on them, and you cast this instantly happens it's like a speed up of their existing dots i guess i'm going to, uh, to head out later jen take care yeah see you later thank you for joining me and um uh, yeah spending time with me really appreciate it i uh, hope you have fun uh, have a good weekend uh i'm gonna be playing final fantasy tomorrow in case you want to join uh and there must be another one Word Warden, a light verse followed by a dark verse, supports allies with copies of Noctua. Noctua copies synchronize their attacks with their, design with their designated allies' attacks. Oh, that's cool. So you duplicate your book, sorta. Okay, what about the last one? Page Flight, a dark verse followed by a light verse, so the inverse. So first you press three and then two, instead of two and then three. Uh, summons power, power grims that swoop at enemies making them vulnerable to status chance and drawing enemy attacks away from allies oh okay that's an interesting one so that's like uh, uh, sort of like crowd control yeah I think this is like a crowd control kind of thing Wait, uh, where was it? Yeah, this one. This is the crowd control one, I think. With the birds that distract enemies. This is healing or tanking or giving bulk to your allies. And this is like accelerating damage. And this is uh, boosting everyone's attack, pretty much. So you have healing. You have CC, you have damage, and accelerate the damage that's already been done. I think that's the part, yeah. But that's cool. And I think he also flies around. Yep, he flies around. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Limited time. A try is in nine, nine days. Oh, you, leave, you leave behind eggs? Okay, sure. Okay. I, I, ah, shit. I have to buy it after updating. Yeah, I, I can uh, shut the game. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go offline. I uh, hope you all have a nice evening. I'll see you guys tomorrow again. Bye bye.